Okay, I'm going to do something a little different today. Um, I've got a bunch of hard, old hard drives laying around, yet I've, I've already taken the magnets out of quite a few, but I'm going to harvest some magnets out of some more uh, hard drives. Those magnets are neomid, neomidium, ne, ne, neominium. Anyway, they're really strong magnets that are in a hard drive, and they come in handy around the shop for various things. So I thought, well, I'm just going to go through taking one apart so you can kind of see what's inside a hard drive. So here we go. I got a little table set up here. Move my camera up here. Try to get in as close as I can. Lower you down a little bit. Come on. Okay, and what I got is I got this old pan. I don't know, my father-in-law got these for me. They look like little cake pan, or little bread pans, but they work pretty dandy for, for putting parts in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a magnet and put it on the back side, and uh, I'll just plop that down. I got a magnetic table, so <laughs> it's gonna hold it from getting bumped or knocked off, off of the table, so. All right. Here's the first one we're gonna we're gonna try to take apart. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is under there's screw there's screws around the outside here, here and here, and usually there's a couple that are hidden in here. I just take a screwdriver and kind of scrape the label off. See there's one right there hidden. And it looks like right here's another one. There's another one hidden. And they're Torx screws. So I get a little Torx screw, screwdriver here. Which happens to be too big. So I got a smaller one here that actually is for uh, my tool bits on the lathe. You just go around it and take all the screws out. Listen, you got six screws on the outside, and there might be another one under here, too, in this corner. I just thought that maybe some of you guys out there would like to take a look. You know, if you have, ne if you have never taken a hard drive apart, it's kind of interesting. There's uh, highly polished aluminum platters in the inside which uh, store magnetic pulses on it. Just like a, the only thing I can compare it to would be like uh, a track or cassette or that type. It, it's magnetic, it's not, uh, it's not a burn in like a DVD. It's, it's magnetic so you can write over and over and over. Okay. And kind of, sometimes you can kind of feel the dimples in the label if there's one under there. I'm going to pull this one off the corner here. Well, there's nothing there. So it should come off. Oh, this one's, some of these have uh, like a sealant tape, an aluminum tape around the, around the perimeter. And you, you're not going to get that off without either going through and cutting it all with a, with a, you know, cutting this all with an X-Acto knife, or I don't know if I can do it with a screwdriver. Oh yeah, you can kind of see right there. And you just go around and and cut that. It's sealed so that if that seal's broke, they know that you've been inside it, and it voids the warranty. I'm not too much worried about the warranty on, it. <laughs> on these. These are uh, old hard drives that I got a long time ago at uh, in a 5S sale at work. There we go. And there's the there's the inside of the hard drive. And this 
moisture in the inside. These have been laying outside, so. But yeah, it, there's a stack of this in here, and depending on the size of the hard drive, this one's got one, two, three, four. It's got four hard drive or four uh, platters. In it. Here's the mag. Here's one of the magnets right here in this corner, and I do believe this one here. There's nothing holding it in other than it's the magnetic force. Well, that's not a, the magnet. Each each one of these are slightly different from an, uh, from the other. Yeah, the magnets in underneath here. So we need to, I'll take the board off the back. See if there's any screws underneath. There's one, two, three, four screws on this board on the back side. Still with the small one. You know, the first couple that I took apart, it was, I find it interesting. It, and like I say, they're all different. Uh, depending on the manufacturer, there, some are some are easier to take apart and some are a little harder. But they're all pretty base, basically the same, but same but different. <laughs> Get the little screw out of the corner here. You can see it's been laying out, laying outside. It's corroded there. Okay, one more screw here in this corner. It is nice with these torque screws, though. They usually come out pretty good. Must have one in the middle somewhere. Hmm. I don't. I don't see any in the middle. It was the plug-in for the motor right here. Right here, there's a plug-in plugs into that motor and plugged in pretty tight and mounted on on a pin there. So and that's the the chips. That's the onboard memory and the controller and everything for that for this hard drive. That'll go to the recycle center. They re ooh, dropped it on the floor. Sorry. Oh, long ways down to that floor. <laughs> right, back here. But there's one screw here. I don't know if that's holding that. I think that's holding the platter in place. We'll take it out anyway. I was starting to say, oh, uh, the circuit boards, they'll go down to the re recycle center. They actually, believe it or not, they, they uh, grind those up and they harvest the gold out of those. You know, they got a process that they can, they can actually get the gold back, back from, uh, from those. see here looks like this platter the post is pressed in oh, no. maybe not well, anyway I got some more screws here to take out take this board out right here I'll have a ton of little screws out. Well, I already did. I've got a, I think, unfortunately, they're all for me. It's unfortunate because I don't work in metric, and uh, they're all usually all metric. Our two puppies are outside there, neighbor. 
boxer and a Boston Terrier. Okay. Okay, that looks like a coil winding there. So I got some copper to harvest out of there. This is this one is different than all the rest that I've I haven't taken one apart like this yet. So I think it's just I think it's just a magnet holding it in there now. I don't know. No. The platter's loose. It's uh Looks like these are pre uh, this one is pressed on to it almost looks like little plastic locators. There's one that came loose. Get over here on this side. Okay, so now it's just this post. Oh, look, see, there's another screw hiding underneath this plastic. <laughs> That plastic is, uh, is tough. I just let's see if I can get over the screw here. I'm sure this is what's holding that in. Post is spinning on the back side. I'm holding the post with my thumb because it was it was spinning, so I couldn't get the screw out the last few turns. There, there, there we go. Now we got a, a clean, empty aluminum case that we can take to the recycle center. You know, I've been keeping all the aluminum pieces from that separate. So, and here's the platter. And these are all aluminum here, these platters. And this is basically the motor right here. It's a, it's like a um, servo motor. And they are swaged together, so I just usually take a punch and, and punch it out and, the, and then it'll come apart then. There's the magnet. This black, this black piece on this one is the magnet, and it really you need you need to be kind of careful with those. They can give you a nasty pinch if they get against steel and you uh, your fingers in the way. They got they have some power behind them. So there's a set of magnets for me or a magnet in a, in a plate. I'll take this copper coil and go in my copper bin. Rest of this will go to the recycle. So that's one. Let's go to the next one here. Now this one is a, a Seagate. This other one was a Not sure, not sure it was a, it was a hundred meg though, <laughs> pretty small hard drive. This one here is a, a Seagate Cheetah. I'm not sure what the size is. But we're gonna take her apart. Man, first thing I'm gonna do is look for, either try to get the whole label off or Look for screws. There's one right there. There's something. Nope, that's just a... 
like I say, they hide them for it, it seems like. I'm sure they all serve a purpose, you know, I just... All right, here we go, we'll start. Oh boy. Oh boy, these are tight. You're stubborn little fuckers. It is pretty nice out today. We I spent a day, I took the tiller off my tractor and uh, my loader bucket and put the bearing, the drive shaft carrier underneath for the snow blower. So now and the front end, and uh, hydraulic mount on the front of my tractor. So now all I need to do is just drive up to the snow blower and hook it up. If, if it snows. And they're forecasting they're forecasting uh, what they're what they're saying is a normal winter, which we haven't had really had a normal winter in quite some time. It's been pretty low on the snow. So okay. So, this one's different than two. It's got like a ring around it. I think there's another screw hiding here somewhere. Aha. Uh -huh. See what I mean? See what I mean? I didn't. I had. There was no evidence of that screw, even when I felt through that label. But, but lo and behold, there's one underneath. So usually, if that cover doesn't come off, if that cover doesn't come off fairly easy, there's, there's, okay. Well, that's a that's a heavy duty cover. Is it? Is it? Is it steel or no? It's, an aluminum aluminum cover but man ah this was, this must have been a really old 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 one here because only one aluminum platter that means it's pretty small it's a pretty small hard drive <laughs> pretty small hope I need Next size bigger there. Got a got a bigger Torx screw. I will have to go see if I can find another the next size up Torx screws. I will be back right after. Okay, I found the Torx driver for it. I'm gonna take this out and this one looks like. I don't know if that's a just a mag if it's a magnet or if it's a just a plate. We'll find out here when we take it off. Okay. Is there a screw under that or is it? I'd say there's a screw underneath this corner here too. from the back side the way it looks. Something something holding that one yet. That will take the board off. Maybe there's underneath the board may there may be some screws hiding on us. Like I say, the only thing I'm really wanting out of these are the the magnets. The rest of it, uh, we'll go to the recycle center and get recycled. I hang on to the screws. I don't know why. <laughs> well, like I say, I'll never. I probably will never ever use them ever. <laughs> but I got a. I think I've got a pretty good sized container of them already. 
So I gotta think I got all the screws out of it. Huh. Yeah, you can see they've been laying outside. Recycle center material. Now we're looking there's nothing under that one, but there is underneath this. Right there. There we go. My you're still in the picture. Ah. That was a tight one. Okay. Okay, that, that's loose. The ladder is next. This one does look like it's pressed in or threaded in. So I see three little holes like it was like a spanner wrench. For it. I thought there would be something underneath it. This. I don't see any more uh, screws anywhere. Just this one that holds that board in. Hmm. It's got me got me wondering how that's held in there. Well, however it was held in there, it let loose there. Like I say, each one's different. This one's got two magnets, you can see them right here. They're on top of these plates. And this torque, there are torque screws holding it in together as, like, as a sandwich. You know. I think I'll leave it like that. Okay, but anyway, I got, there's actually two magnets in this. One on each side. You can see them in here. There, in and up there. And then there's torque screws that are actually just these three torque screws hold it together. So there's another magnet. And this, there's coil, uh, copper coil here. I've usually been, uh, usually been breaking those out of, out of them and putting that in my copper bin. Recycled material, and I'll have to punch that out of there. And then, once I punch that out of there, then this will be a and, and punch this out. If I can punch that out right here. No, no, I'll have to go over on the press and, and push that out. Then it'll be a clean piece of aluminum. All right, let's do one more. Let's do a newer one. Well, this is a cheetah too. That's the same as what we had. But it, I think it's a newer one though. Let's take it apart and see what's different. See what they changed. First off, they got more screws in it. Uh, across, they got three across the end. And three across down this edge. And I'm sure there's some underneath those labels. Right there. 
go around, you can usually feel the Indian. And then right there. I don't think that's a screw. No. Oh, I going right there. Oh, something, something right. Oh, that's a ring for the platter. Okay, so just this one, I think. No here in a second. Yeah, that was it. This is really full of water. It's been, these have been sitting outside, so you can see it. It's full of water. <laughs> oh, this one here, the platter is all screwed together. I, I've done some already like that. This one, I think the top magnet isn't held on by anything. <laughs> Other than its own. Why those things are strong, I just can't get over how strong those magnets are. Take the screws out of this platter here. You probably can't even see me taking what's going on here, can you? They don't want these platters to move, apparently. <laughs> they got enough screws in it. Holy cow. Around that hub. Three would probably would have been sufficient. Three would have been sufficient. They would have saved money drilling and tapping holes. And then screws. Okay, so we got a cover, a spacer, and then platters, but we need to get we need to get this out of there first. You know. This one looks like it's it's got a screwdriver slot in the top. Let's see if it Yep. So I say each one is different. I haven't found too many of them that are different brands that were the same. So that one's got a threaded, threaded post. And this, the platter should lift out of there. This is another small hard drive, the way it looks. You would be in only one platter. These are kind of kind of neat too. I mean, if you uh, clean them up, they're they're mirror. They're like a mirror. I got a whole shit pot full of those. And here's a little electric motor that's held in by three three screws there. 
Let's take the let's take the circuit board to the back. Let's see what's underneath there. Yeah, let's see back up a little bit. What? They put enough screws to hold the circuit board on too. They were afraid the circuit board was going to fall off apparently. This company can see. Well, they probably do now. They probably have since removed and only put a couple screws in there. You know, every screw that you put into a product like that, you know, naturally going to cost you money because you got to fixture it and drill it and tap it, and then you got to have buy hardware to put in it, and another one, one more. Man, they had a, had a lot of them in this one. So, so they could save money. They could save a lot of money by that, and plus time, the time it takes to drill and tap all the holes. Okay, so take these out. That holds, holds the motor in here. Holy smokes. They are definitely afraid to these were gonna come out. <laughs> I'm try to cheat here. I don't want to wreck my Torx wrench either. I grab it with pliers, and I couldn't get enough twist on it. They're all like that. No, that one came. One more. That one never came to. Just the one that was really. Okay. There we go. See, this one had the motor comes out in one piece. So it's a little servo motor. Another mag, another magnet right here. So it had a magnet on both sides of this one. You, usually they have two magnets in, one on each side of of the arm that this arm and coil go in between the magnets, and and that's what creates the magnet, the depositing of the magneticity or, ma or the magnet uh, magnetism onto the platter and that's be it's transferred from this coil up to the it's genius how they figure this all this out you know this <laughs> the plastic piece on here Plastic piece over here. Some of these magnets, too, you can get get loose from this <laughs> this back plate. You just take and stick your screwdriver in here, and either up against a post or something. And sometimes you can break them loose like that. I think it broke loose because they're they're held on with a little bit of epoxy underneath underneath the magnet to hold it onto that plate. Sometimes you can get them loose and sometimes you can't. They actually are nicer on the plate. You can mount them on stuff. And, ooh. and you want to be careful. If they, if they pinch you, they, they give you a, 
It'll give you a nasty blood blister. And a couple screws here for this harness to this arm. That should, that should knock off of there now. No, no screws holding it. Take, take the copper out of it. Keep that. The rest of it can go in the recycle. Unless I, on some of them, I've been, if, if the pin in the center pushes out fairly easy. I've been saving the bearings too. They got nice little bearings in them. But beans, these were out in the water and filled up with water. I don't know how well those, how good those bearings are. Another piece of clean aluminum uh, for the men. And I think that's gonna do it f for now. Um, Went the wrong way with the zoom. <laughs> oh. Anyway, that I think that's that'll do it for today. Uh, I took a few, showed, showed you how to take them apart. You know, did a few of them, and like I say, those magnets they come in handy in the in the shop. So it's now I was just going to show you my tractor here. It's it's a twenty three oh five John Deere. And it's got a cab on it. You've probably seen it in the videos already. But uh, I put the front end on, got it ready for the snowblower. Took the, it's got it usually got a bucket on it in the front. And then in the back, I got a usually got a tiller on there. I just take it off in the wintertime. And put the cab on. And she's ready to go, ready for the snow. It uh, makes uh, blowing snow actually. <laughs> A pleasure and instead of instead of being just a, a total hassle you know it makes it so that it's you know not a bad not a bad deal I mean you can go out and blow snow in, in your t-shirt so that's the best little unit that I've ever purchased so um, anyway uh, I've got some more uh, hard drives to do but I'm gonna do them another day but I just thought that, uh, I know somebody on one of the boards had mentioned that they had seen my hard drive magnets. I go, oh, you, you, uh, you uh, saved the hard drive magnets too. And I go, oh yeah. <laughs> Every time I run across a hard drive, I bought all those hard drives. I bought a box of, I think about a hundred hard drives for uh, three bucks. <laughs> so, you know. What the heck, you know, none of them were any good. Well, I take that back. There was a couple of them that were actually still good, but they were so small, they were useless. So, so I ripped them apart and took the magnets out. Anyway, until next time, catch you later.